Hello everyone, this is Manuel Perez, aka Perez Corday. I am here live. Um, just wanting to, first of all, thank everyone once again for sending me um, messages um, for your words of wisdom, your words of support. Um, a lot of you have been um, either coming to my Perez Corday on Facebook or my uh, Manuel De Jesus Perez page, or my Perez Corday on YouTube, um, the Perez Corday uh, channel, YouTube channel. So just once again, want to say thank you. There is not one of you that is sending me a message or coming in and liking my page or just giving me your words of encouragement and advice or whatever. I just really want to say um, thank you because you don't have to do it, first of all. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all of the love and support that you all have been giving, have been giving me since I have posted um, not only the Perez Corday page, but also the recent videos that I've started doing. You know, my passion is acting. I love to act, I love to um, speak, I love to anything dealing with the arts, I love music, that is one thing about me, and anybody that knows me knows that I'm just very passionate about, you know, the entertainment industry and world, and I love people, I'm a people person, so um, I just ask each and every one of you to continue doing that and to my best I will answer your questions and continue giving you um, the best that I have to give um, as I grow and continue to grow um, in this new adventure. Um, one of the questions that I've gotten probably like three times is people wanted to know what I think of uh, the Tamar Braxton album. Um, I just want to say I love the album. I think that it's very, very good. Um, you've probably seen in recent videos of mine that I am a Tabar Braxton fan. Um, I like, I love the uh, Braxton Family Values show. I love Tony Braxton. And I think that Tamar Braxton gives me enough of Tony Braxton, of, of that sound that's good. But then she's also her own artist. So um, I don't really know what people was expecting from this album. I mean, she's Tamar Braxton. She's been, you know, she hasn't made an album in so long. So I thought, I think personally that the album is very well put together. It's impressive to say that, you know, not too much, what, maybe a year, two years ago, really nobody knew who Tamar Braxton was. So um, she's really been able to, with the Braxton family values and with, um, making the video, um, doing the Tamar and Vince show, um, I personally feel like she's been able to make a comeback, and there's many of you that didn't even know that she had an album, it kind of reminded me of Candy from Escape, a lot of people didn't know that she had an album, um, besides the album that she's released since she's been on the Atlanta Housewives, so, you know, one thing that these shows have seemed to be able to do is put people back into the spotlight and where people know who they are. So when they bring out their projects, um, it definitely, to me, helps push it because what's the best promotion is people seeing you for an entire season and getting to know you and, you know, that. So I definitely think that that was good. Um, you know, there is, I want to say her name is Ariana Grande. I don't know if you all have checked her album out. Um, I have been seeing some very good feedback on Facebook um, and I've been getting it from my friends and family, but her album is excellent. She sounds kind of sort of like Mariah Carey on some songs, but she's different enough here again where um, I think that she, um, her album is excellent. So it's be interesting to see how her videos are and how well she does. Also bought, bought, purchased Raheem Devon's album, um, which I absolutely love. I think that one was good too. So a lot of the music that's been coming out recently, that at least that I've purchased, because I'm also an oldies with goodies, so I'll go back and purchase some old music back from the 80s and 90s and that's just me, 70s in a minute, if I hear it, you know, um, I'm, I don't know if y'all seen that doggone insurance commercial, but they keep playing the Justice, the Justice, excuse me, the Human League, and the song is called Human, and because they keep playing it, you know that song, I'm only human, and 
um, I went and purchased the song because I kept hearing it. And I was like, I remember that song. So it's like something like that will happen, and I will go and 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 buy the album. That's just me. Um, as of music, uh, I am my favorite artist of all time is Michael Jackson. I just love me some Michael Jackson. Now I did used to live. I I used to live in Germany. And that's where my um, love for Michael Jackson was created, because over there, he is bigger than Elvis over here. I mean, Michael Jackson is like, especially when I live there, but even to this day, he's still very huge over in other countries. I think here in the United States, with everything that happened, and even before, you know, some of the allegations, you know, I will love artists for a minute, and then we'll get over it or whatever, but that will never ever Never, ever be, in my opinion, another Michael Jackson. That's just my opinion. Very big fan of Janet. Um, heard she's in the studio working on an album, so very excited about that. If that's true, I would love to her to work back with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis again. I thought they helped her create some of the best music ever. So, um, just excited. Um, you know, SWV, um, latest album. You know, um, it's been a little while now, but I was happy to see them come back. So I'm like, if SWV comes back, has come back with the album, you never know who's going to step on back into the studio and say, let me um, do an album. Um, I heard that Beyonce was recently in the last week or so that she was filming a video, music video um, up in New York. So, you know, very well, she could be bringing her album out soon and you know definitely excited about lady gaga i love the song applause i really do i was listening to it um last night i really am a big 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 fan of lady gaga i think she's very talented so that's basically what i'm thinking on the musical front and um definitely i think i got like three and i think people have been asking me about tamar because her album just came out so and people have been talking about it so um, here, once again, the answer to that particular question is I love the album. Um, I like the up-tempo songs. I've heard that, you know, maybe she should have just did ballads. That was the issue with her first album. There was a lot of ballads. You know, although you may not fully get into the up-tempo songs, um, I think that the up-tempo songs flow with the album. So it makes it where it's not too slow, not too lovey dubby or sad i think it's kind of hot k michelle album was also well i think she needed some see i think k michelle was the opposite i think she needed some up-tempo songs but um her album was was really well put together as well um and that's that you know before i leave out for today um this is my message for today to you guys um i just want to say and do a shout out to anybody that is going through anything in their life you know, I was just answering questions and stuff about, you know, music and um, different things like that. I want to say to you that if you're a person that is working on your music, working on your art craft, working on anything, you can be in, in the kitchen working on dinner right now. But whatever it is that you do in life, make sure that you are giving it all and giving all of yourself. Make sure that you are continuing to work on your passion. Make sure that you are doing everything that you possibly can be to be the best that you can be and don't let anybody discourage you you know one of the things is hard with anything that you're trying to do in life a lot of times you look for the people that you love the closest and the mostest to have your back and have your support and you know give you that push you need to push yourself and ask god to give you everything else that you need if you believe in yourself, then you can achieve. You can be anything that you want to be. You know, there's always going to be, always going to be naysayers. There's always going to be people that say, you missed your calling, or you, it's too late, you know, or you're too old. If NeNe Leakes can jump on a reality show and become the superstar that she has, if Wendy Williams and her lateness, although we all have known Wendy Williams for everything, that she has done, you know, on radio, but if she can come in her age and God bless her with a TV show and she becomes as big as she has, and not only that, it's actors, it's artists, it's people in life that go to college late and, and become doctors. If God has not told you that it's too late, it ain't too late. 
Do what it is that you have to do to be the best person that you can be and make sure that your life is happy. Don't live your life for anybody else. Live your life for yourself. Now, I'm not saying be a selfish individual. I'm not saying don't take care of your family. Don't take, don't take care of your children. Don't take care of your husbands and wives and your spouses and your mothers and grandmothers and the people that love you. I'm not saying that because this is one thing. When you give out to the universe, the universe gives back to you. If you're an individual that's selfish and think that you're, it's all about you and everything's about you and that's the way God wanted it to be and wanted you to think, then you're wrong. That's not the way that it works, at least not in my opinion. I believe that when you do everything that you can and do everything that to the best of your ability that God tells you to do, he's going to protect you. He's going to lift you up and he's going to get you to exactly where it is that he wants you to be. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not going to have challenges. That does not mean that you're not going to have, you know, times where you're like, I don't know. I don't know. Not enough people have liked my page. Not enough people are watching my videos. Not enough of my family is sharing my videos. Not enough people are seeing my vision. They don't know who I am. They don't understand. Why am I still here? You're still here because that's where God wants you to be. So there is something that God is trying to use you for where you're at right now. You know, I could be sitting here looking at TV and be crying and falling out. I'm supposed to be there. If God didn't tell me I'm supposed to be there and he hasn't placed me there, it's not my time. So what I'm saying to you is don't give up. Don't give up. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Because I know that there is a purpose and destiny for me. God has already told me that. So you know what? I'm going to make these videos on the balcony. You may look up one day and i got a video sitting on top of some mountain somewhere doing a video. Until somebody says, wait a minute. I'm going to invest in him. I'm going to, wait a minute. We got something here. Then until then, I don't care if I have to die trying. I understand that whatever God has told me, I believe it. I believe him. I don't believe that God is going to lie to me. I believe that he told me everything that he's going to do for me and for my life. I believe that is true because he's told me many things in the past and everything that he has told me has come to pass. So although I may work for a company, even when I work for myself, I'm working for God. I'm asking him to use me in anything that I do in life. And I understand that if I do that, if I do that, I'm going to feel good at the end of the day. So, you know, I don't know if you're going through something with your health. I don't know if you're going through something in a relationship. I don't know if you're going through something in your finance. I don't know what you're going through in your life. I'm just asking you, know that I'm praying for you. I'm asking you to give yourself some prayer, some strength and belief that God can pull you out of it. And if you believe in that, watch miracles will start to happen darkness will become light and you will feel so so good about the entire situation no matter what nobody says nobody no matter what nobody does because trust me the devil always uses somebody and misery loves company you can be the most positive person the more happy person when people people act like they want to see you do well and a lot of them don't because they not only have no dreams for their own self they so miserable in their own misery they like child what what the hell they they jumping up and down for? I mean, what, 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 what they talking about? Don't focus on that. Focus on the people that grab you up and say, I believe in you. Focus on, even if you got to look at me on the screen, I believe in you. And I hope, I honestly hope that you believe in me. And we're just going to believe in each other. And that's just what we're going to do. I love you. I wish you all the best. This is Manuel Perez, a.k.a. Perez Corday. And I'm going to tell you, I'm out. Don't be looking at me like that because I'll be back. But for right now, I'm out.